Natalie, do you want to tell me what your concerns are that have brought you into the clinic today? Um, uh, he's had a couple of ear infections lately, so we just want to make sure that the, the problems have resolved. Okay. Uh, you say he's had a couple of infections. How many infections would you say he's had in the last he's year? He's had two over the last year that were quite bad. When taking a history for a child client, the majority of the questions are aimed at the parent or the caregiver. The audiologist will ask about the parent's view of the child's hearing, pregnancy and birth history, speech and language development, developmental milestones and ear health history. So Angus, this is the first time you're coming for a hearing test. This is all new, we'll have to teach you what to do. Some questions or comments will be directed at the child directly, partly to establish rapport, but also to gauge the child's hearing abilities in an informal way before beginning to test. Would I be correct in saying that the ear infections were just treated with antibiotics? Yes, okay, yes, so he did not require... <laughs> Angus, I'm going to have you sit on this big blue chair. Tympanometry is very important in young children as they are so prone to middle ear disorders such as a titus media with effusion or glue ear. What we're going to do now is a quick test just to see if we can pick up any fluid in the middle ear just to make sure that that infection has cleared and that we have reliable results from today. All right, I'm going to pop this on your shoulder. I'm going to put a wee tube on the end of this and pop it in your ear. And we're going to see if your ear can draw us a picture. And what we're hoping for, Angus, is that we can get a nice mountain picture from your ear. All right, so you've got to sit nice and still and we'll see what picture we get drawn. Let's give a blue one a try. It's a nice and soft wee tip. Let's pop that on your shoulder. There we go, nice and comfy. All right, you watch the screen for me. I'm going to pop the sweet tube in your ear. There we go. Watch over there. There we go, we've got a wee mountain that your ear drew. All right, let's quickly see what's happening on the I'll other ear. Here yeah, we're going to do the other ear. Oh, let's see what this one tells us. Let's have a look. Right, ready, let's watch there. Nice and still like a statue. Look at that, another beautiful mountain. That tells us that ear's working nicely. Your eardrum's moving. You don't have any infection. It's gotten better. Right, now we can go and test your ears. We're going to play a listening game, Angus. Right, Angus, let's have a wee look in your ear, see if I can see any dinosaurs in there. As for adult clients, otoscopy can reveal important information about possible pathologies in paediatric clients. Oh, that looks all good to go. We can play our listening game. Preschool aged children are tested using play audiometry. It's similar in principle to standard diagnostic audiometry, but instead of a button push, it uses a more engaging response mode, such as placing pegs in a pegboard. I'm going to take a block and we're going to hold it up to our ear and listen. And when we hear a sound, we're going to put the peg in. All right. Listening nicely, let's try one together. Wow, that was quick. With younger children, the audiologist demonstrates what is required of them by presenting sounds free field via speakers or headphones resting on the table before trying to place transducers over or in the child's ears. Great job. I'm going to see if I can catch you out now with the soft sounds. You've got to listen really carefully. Okay. Great job, you got the hang of this. Right, let's put in these special listening earphones. So I'm going to pop this one in your ear. Right, remember to listen for the sound. As soon as you hear it, I'm going to put it in. Let's listen. Let's listen first. Good job. Wow, that was a pretty soft one. It's going to get even softer now, so I want you to listen carefully. Great job. Another orange one. Right, listen carefully. Are you listening, Angus? It's going to be a soft one. I'm going to try and catch you out. Listen carefully. Good job. Listen carefully. 
Oh, there wasn't a sound yet. You could listen carefully. Let's hold it up and listen together. See if we can hear the soft one listening. Good job. So this graph is called an audiogram. Across here we've got pitch. And down this side we've got different loudness levels. So going from very, very soft sounds to very loud sounds. At the completion of testing, the audiologist will explain the results to the parents or caregiver and make recommendations, depending on the findings.